Just make me never come around Turn me off, hey I wear my heart on my sleeve Oh, my lover Yeah, I had enough Baby thinks she tough just cause she thick as fuck Just because you thick don't mean I'm ever stuck Gamble with your heart, you try and test your luck Wind on me, wind on me, you love on me Touch on me, you say Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is London Tay coming to you today with another video, girl. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I did those Cole Array short knotless box sprays. Okay, guys, I see a lot of people doing these knotless box sprays and they're long or they're thin. For this style, I made the braids still thick, still large braids, but shorter length okay so i'm going to show you guys how i do them today so i'm going to use four packs of the queen bee length 50 now guys i recommend for you guys to use like 40 inch queen bee here but i didn't have it so you know we just stuck it out with a 50 inch okay 60 inch baby you're gonna be struggling with that long hair but um so i used four packs of the color number four and then I use two packs of the color number 27, okay? So here I am. I'm just going to start with the braids. I'm using the Even Edge Tamer in the black top. And I'm going to use that to define the parts as well as to smooth out the roots for the, the knotless box braids, okay? So I'm going to use a rat tail comb. I always get one with a metal end because a metal tail because it just gives more precise parting in my opinion. So, um, she did call me a freshly washed hair and, um, she had it blown out. Okay. No product on it at all. So, and I'm also doing diamond parts. So here I am. I'm just going to have this section of hair was a little bit under the ear, um, the top of the ear. And then I'm going to just do diagonal parts. So I'm going to do three braids in the back. So I'm just going to do like a triangle in the middle. I'm just going to do that left part going to the diagonal slanting to the left and then on the other side it'll be slanting, slanting to the right okay so here i am i'm just using the comb to kind of add pieces this makes it pretty pretty easy um i do have you know different pieces in different spots but like i said this just kind of makes everything e um easy and it just allows it to kind of just be easy to grab okay so um since i'm left-handed i put it on the left side if you're a right hand i would say put that comb with those hair pieces on the right side okay so here i am i'm just going to start off with the braid guys and then i'm just going to start um to add pieces now make sure you are combing everything in make sure everything is smooth before you proceed with adding the hair so i'm going to start adding the hair with small pieces and then i'm going to gradually get bigger okay so that is a one piece that was added here is the second piece that, are, that is added now i am um the way i'm holding it i am adding the hair in between my pointing finger and my middle finger okay and i'm gripping it at the bottom with my thumb okay so this is piece number three i'm just gonna Add that in there at the same time. Comb as I'm going. Go back to the left. Add piece number four. Do, do, do. We're going to add number four. And then we're going to break that in to the right. Back to the left. And we're going to add um, piece number five. So you guys see I am combing everything out to make sure everything is smooth. Okay. So piece number five. Now it's starting to get thick. 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 All right, piece number six. Now, I switched my braiding with my hands, my hand placement. So, when I switch my hand placement to this underhand braid like this, I want to make sure that everything is smooth. Now, as you guys can see, I messed up. And do not be ashamed of messing up and starting back over because, guys, it's just, you know, yeah, no. So, what I ended up doing was I was like, mm, I feel like this is just too thick of a piece, right? So, I just took those pieces out. So, I ended up doing like five pieces of hair adding. And then, when I get to the destination I want to get to, I want the braids to stop. I am going to get to a rubber band and I'm going to tie that rubber band to end everything off. Okay? So, that is basically what I did. And I just like to start where the, the, the top of that chair is. The um, top of the chair kind of like where the metal buttons are and I like to just stop right there with bobs I always do bobs the same way whether it's bob locks or any type of bob style I like to stop the bob right there because you know whenever you bring that hair to the front when you have a bob it gets shorter so that length right there will, will compensate for the the shortness that it may add okay um so yeah i'm just going to just keep doing that as you guys can see this is the middle piece that piece is going that slant was going to the left right there 
and going to the right on the right side and I'm going to just do another braid in the back and I'm just going to keep on going now guys um these are kind of like jumbo large um part braids so these are not going to be you know very close in far in, in between they're going to be pretty far um with the diagonal braids or the the di diamond braids um you're still going to do like a brick laying motion where you have those braids falling in between the other braids so that way it does not look skimpy okay um so i do have two packs of that color number 27 so when i start getting like towards the middle i will start adding some of that color number 27 so she can have just a couple you know like three or four braids that are that honey blonde um now this e even edge tamer guys i don't know if you've ever used it um it's kind of similar to the style factor. I just like the even because it just gives it a smooth finish. And guys, even if you feel like things are not as smooth as you want, you can always just go back, add a little bit more, and kind of like smooth it into the hair and comb it into the hair. It's the same thing. Um, it will basically really, really help smooth out the roots and things like that. So, um, and also dries. It dries um dry. It doesn't dry. It doesn't dry greasy. So it drying dry really, really helps everything kind of just hold in place um one thing it can affect is it can affect when things don't look as juicy as you may want them like it may dry 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 and it looks like it's maybe like white like a white cast or flaking or something like that so but that can be easily fixed guys with some oil sheen so don't worry about that part either um so yeah so at this point this second row this this is because they're jumbo the second row is going to go right there in the front. It's going to carry on from the front. These parts right here, horizontal, I'm going to do them, you know, just straight. And then I'm going to do the diagonal parts in between that. So now she does like a little bit of edges out. So I'm going to make sure that those edges are out as well. But guys, just go ahead and continue watching. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just keep on doing the knotless box braids. I like to add the hair on one side only. And um, I add about five to six pieces um, per braid, and yeah, I'm just going to compare it to the other to other braids to know where to stop. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do that the whole time. Just go ahead and enjoy this video, and I will talk to y'all a little later when I'm finished. Bye.
up a four. You gon' make me pull up some more. You just really sealed the deal. Test me every day, I don't know how to feel. Yeah, 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 I'm heartless. You think that I'm petty, but to me, I'm honest. She crazy, and you get way too attached. I can't ever see me going back, no. So you can see the diamond parts. Um, this is going to be my second braid that I'm doing this. I'm sitting here talking about color number 27, y'all. It is not color number 27. It is for sure color number 33, okay? So that is the color that this is, the, this kind of blonde brown, okay? So um, like I said, this is the second piece that I am adding, which is that color. And I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and um, whenever I'm done with this braid... That is where I'm going to part her hair down the middle, and then I'm going to just do the diagonal braids down the middle, guys. So, after I'm done with that, I'll be back. Watch me through the square. I don't even see you out there. Oh, trying to pick the sides. Try to split up all the sand there. Now that I'm done, I'm going to use a Vigoro mousse and I'm going to apply that mousse on the ends just to kind of get some shine and some structure going on. And then I'm going to use these kind of, they're not even flexi rods, guys. And I highly, highly, highly suggest using flexi rods. These are like some weird, unshaped, 
like wobbly, not really structured. You know how like flexi rods are like stiff. These are not stiff at all. They're very flimsy, but this is all I had, guys. So this is what I had to work with. Sometimes they turned out good and some of them did not turn out good. Some of them turned out like very loose curls. So those are the ones I had to like redo again. Um, but yeah, guys, this is just, it was such a hassle. These are like super cheap. I don't know what I thought. I thought they were like really hard. But then when I took them out of the pack, I was like, oh my God, these are so flimsy. Like what I'm going to do. So, yeah. So, guys, also, okay, so this is a tip. If you want your braids thick, but you don't want the curls too thick on the end, what you're going to do is you can split the braid, like split the, split the hair after the, the rubber band, and cut in the middle. So, have some hair on the left side, separate some hair on the right side, and then like a chunk of hair in the middle of that, that loose hair. Just cut it off. The reason why you're not going to want to just pull any hair from any section and cut off to make the ends thinner is because you're going to see that big old blunt cut if you do that so just kind of camouflage it and just kind of cut some hair off in the middle if the hair is too bulky to like wrap around you get what I'm saying so that is a tip I like to use I don't know if I included that but yeah watch me through the square I don't even see you When I'm done with that, I'm going to get that plastic kettle, make it boil, and then just dip the ends in that plastic kettle, then wring out the hair with the towel, and then I'll be done. Like I said, the spots where I messed up, I'm just going to recurl those. Also, I just sprayed some of that Got To Be Glue spray on it just to kind of keep the hair, have, a good, have it have a good hold. And some oil sheen, and I just use that same um, Eben Edge Tamer for the edges, guys. Um, yeah. And so, like I said, after I dip everything down, that is basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was pretty informative. Um, that is just me dipping it in. And, yeah, and that's just how I got the final result. Like I said, you see that little curl? It did not do its thing, so I had to go back and redo that. But thank you all so much for watching. See you all in my next video. Bye.